Almost seven decades have passed since Pearl Harbor was bombed by the Japanese. Memories of that day are still vivid to this Carlsbad great-grandmother, Barbara Cavacungan. She was almost five years old on December 7, 1941. I heard this booming sound while I was getting dressed. I looked out the window. I looked out the window and I saw this small little smoke coming out in a distance. And although she was a very little girl, she recalls many details of that fateful morning. Her memories are vivid partly because she had just attended the funeral of her baby sister the day before and her mind was very alert to what was happening around her. Later on there were more booms and when you looked out now this little smoke was beginning to be a bigger smoke into a mushroom cloud of black and orange and, and it covered the, you know, the trade winds just blew it across the city so it was darkened that day. Barbara explains to three of her grandchildren that her parents were considered an interracial couple. Her mother, Rachel, was Hawaiian, and her father, Itsuo Tanaka, was Japanese. Right after the bombing, he was taken away by the FBI for questioning, and she remembers that day, too. Then they told him that he had to go, and he refused to go. And so they just picked him up, one on one arm and the other on the other arm, and just carried him right down the stairs. And my dad screamed and hollered and said, I'm an American, I'm an American, you know, and swore at them. And, and, uh, but they just put him in the wagon and handcuffed him. But luckily he was brought home a few days later because he could speak English well and convince the authorities he could be trusted. Barbara says because her dad was a bit of a gambler, he had learned to speak different languages from his gambling friends. And that skill helped the Tanaka family when a bomb shelter needed to be built in their Honolulu neighborhood. And my dad was, a, was considered a block warden, I think simply because he knew so many of the different languages of the people in the community that uh, he was able to help them because people were very fearful about going into this bomb shelter. After living almost 40 years in Carlsbad, Barbara has been back to Hawaii a number of times, yet she has never visited the memorial of the USS Arizona the battleship sunk in the water where over 1,100 servicemen are entombed. She says it would be too difficult to see. But on this, the 69th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor, she's grateful to be an American and says patriotism is what keeps the country strong. For Carlsbad Patch, I'm Judy Chauncey.